guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is monosi and this is monosi eat vegan we are doing episode one of can i veganize this the famous tiktok viral tuna cutter sandwich if you don't know what the tuna cutter sandwich is it's a sandwich that went viral on tiktok it's from a juice bar in america called joe the juice so we today are going to attempt to make it vegan make it delicious let's begin with making our chickpea tuna flavored chickpea to begin i've got my mini food processor over here and some nuri sheets seaweed sheets this is what's going to give our chickpea the fishy flavor so i'm going to get a couple of them tear them up into my mini food processor i hate when people say a couple and they don't actually need to a couple needs to literally and then i'm going to blitz it up until i get like powder this is what it's looking like right now it's the dashed i've got my sandwich toaster over here and i'm gonna preheat it i've got canned chickpeas over here and i'm gonna try and get rid of the skin on them because it does sometimes like interfere with the texture i'm just popping the chickpea like that and then i have the skin left over here so I'm gonna do a few. I'm gonna just make one sandwich so I don't need a lot of there. I love a good sandwich. When I saw this and the actual juice bar released the recipe and I was like, mm, I gotta try this, gotta try and make it vegan. I think that's enough. I have like about half of the can. Okay, over here. Okay. We're gonna start with toasting our bread. They use a secret bread they say uh it kind of looks very thin and it's whole grain i forgot to buy the whole grain what i have here is the squares it's this type of bread blue ribbon squares it's thin it comes pre-cut as you can see it's very very thin you can find this bread any local grocery store always has them I bought mine from Pick and Pay. Check this has them. So I'm going to pop them in the toaster. Because it's usually like one long one. It looks like this. So we're going to use two of these. Which will equal one sandwich I guess. And I'm going to pop it in the toaster. At an angle. Because they try and get the crisscross motion. That's what I'm going to get. While that's going. We're continuing with our tuna or as you call it the vegans chuna chu pro tip i always have like diced onion in like a container but i always use the same container because it will stick it up and i keep it in the fridge so when i'm cooking and i'm a bit lazy i always have diced onion ready to go i need it to be finer than what it is with right now so I'm gonna dice it. So they don't give the actual recipe for the tuna that they have, but it looks like the tuna that you, that you would have in your sandwich. So I'm gonna make it how I like it, which is with a bit of onion, some herbs. Theirs also has mayo. You can clearly see there's mayo in it. Squeezing a few squeezes of a lemon. And obviously the seaweed that we just prepared. So my onion is fine enough for me. Okay, let me mash my chickpeas first. So mashing those. Let me check on the toast. Really nice grill marks. Let me change the direction. The bread does look very toasted. When you see people biting into it, it's very crispy. So that's what we're trying to get. I know some people add celery to their tuna mix when they make sandwiches. You can do that. I am not a fan of celery, so I'm skipping it. Tikis are meant to be baked. Add the nuri, 
that we blended in the beginning. You can immediately smell the fishiness that comes from the nuri. I added about, this is about a teaspoon and a half or a teaspoon of that. This is something that you have to do to taste. I um, might dried herbs, pepper, and salt to season. There goes a the bit of salt, pepper, the dried herbs. Now I'm adding some mayonnaise. Goes right in. That was like a tablespoon and a half. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Stir, stir, stir. Squeeze of lemon. Tell me that doesn't look like a tuna sandwich. Like, look at that. Open your mouth for a taste. Go, go. Let me go in for the taste. It needs a bit more lemon. Another taste. Needing a bit more salt. The fishy taste is definitely there because of the nori. Besides the texture, because it's not like tuna texture, you can fool yourself you're having some tuna. I think that right there is perfect and ready. My toaster is a tad slow, so let me check on the bread. We got, it's not charred, but I feel like it's crispy enough. But I'm gonna leave it in there for a bit, it's not there. Now guys, avocados are not in season in South Africa, so to find affordable avocados is difficult. I oh, hope this is a nice avocado because it's the only one that's ripe out of the packet. Join in the suspense together. Let's go open, open. Is it, is it? Yay! Let me slice up the tomato. As you can see, it is a recipe. You can meal prep the tuna mixture and have that in advance ready in the fridge. So we want to sandwich, you just rustle it up quickly. What else is missing? The tomato, the tuna, the avocado, and pickled jalapeno. I do mine homemade. Like a small jar of pickled jalapeno will go for about 30 rand. I'm not paying that. This is like two packets of like fresh jalapenos. And I bought one for like 10 rand. So it's like 2 to 20 rand. Then you always have vinegar, you use water, sugar. Let me know if you want my recipe for how I pickle these and then I'll share that. The other expensive <laughs> ingredient for this is Tabasco sauce. Like usually when I make things I'll go like whatever your favorite hot sauce is. But when something says Tabasco I feel like it's important to get Tabasco because it's a very distinct flavor. The hot sauce is fermented and I feel like nothing tastes like Tabasco. So this small teeny weeny bottle cost me 54 rand 54 randellas it's so tiny like this is how committed i am to this sandwich i went and bought that oh i forgot pesto here we have our pesto that's also homemade i thought i was gonna buy pesto so the price and i was like oh hell no she her me is not doing that now you guys know how stingy i am with the coins okay okay i think the bread is ready nicely toasted we are ready to assemble our tuna cardo first things first let's open up our toaster the bread is already pre-sliced so I'm not slicing, I'm just separating it. Obviously the steam made the bread stick together. You can see how thin the bread is. Let me get to the second one. There we go. First up goes the pesto. Their pesto is pretty watery when they do this. So I made mine also a bit wet. If you want my pesto recipe, I will link it above. Check it out above. Click, click, click. Go watch it. I'm trying to not do too much because pesto is quite a strong 
level. The Tobasco on one side. Tobasco goes on. I'm gonna be careful with this. Why is it not coming up? Okay, there we go. I like my things spicy, so I don't know why I said I'm gonna be careful with this. I like it spicy. Oh, I love the smell of Tobasco. Just not the price of Tobasco. And then avocado goes on the one shy. They do slices, so that's what I'm doing. I love trying to viral TikTok recipe. And I I happy this one was easy to veganize. Am I gonna use the whole half of this? Probably should. Then I'm gonna season the avocado for making so there's just salt going on. And then the tuna goes on the other half of the sandwich. The tuna, the chickpeas. Before non-vegans come to me and say, that's not tuna, that's not tuna. But you get the point. The tuna that goes on. Tomatoes. Season. Pickled jalapenos. I'm not gonna do too too much because we already have acidity in the tuna, the chickpeas. So we yeah, adding this for the spice and the crunch also. Love the crunch of pickled jalapenos. And that is the tuna cardo. Close it up. Close that puppy up. If it was like one long sandwich like this, this would look exactly like the Joe and the Juice sandwich. Let's go in for the bite. Just look at this puppy. What am I doing? Look at it. Look. Go in for the bite. Go in for the bite. Now it's time to go in for the taste. I probably need a bib for this because I'm a very messy eater. But let me do the hunch. Lean forward. Flavors, so much going on. I'm going for another bite. I'm speechless. Do I have any more milk? Probably do. Guys, this sandwich is immaculate. How about it's everything about it for me? It's everything the pistol, the mock tuna, tomato, avocado. Now I'm just naming all the ingredients, right? This sandwich is delicious it's nice and juicy from the tomatoes the to i need to say tomato again the tuna the bread because it's so thin it doesn't interfere with like all the flavors you're not focusing on the bread it's nice because it's crispy it adds texture but you know when you have a thick slice of bread it sometimes interferes with what with what's inside the sandwich but in this case the bread is perfection. This sandwich is so, so good. No wonder why it's viral. I get it. I get it, I get it. Now, Joe the Juice, if you want to make it vegan, I just showed you how to make it vegan for the vegans. You should absolutely make this sandwich. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So, guys, thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again next time. Hope you try the sandwich. Here you make this. Tag me on Instagram. Same name, Munasi Eats Vegan. And tell me how it went. If you like this video, please comment down below. Like. And if you want to join the family, please subscribe. And see you again next time. Goodbye.